Well, if there's one thing we learned last time, it is that playing board games at a low level is OP! Anyways, so now that we've cleared the Castle of Dreams, we've got two different worlds that we can visit. But first, before that, we're gonna pay the Mirage Arena a quick visit. As I mentioned last time, I think now that we've finished at least one other story, we have all of the command boards and all of Rumble Racing unlocked right from the get-go. In which case, that can be used to get some early medals and arena levels. Oh, just Mirage Arena! Yes, that's fine. I like default. I just want to take a quick check just to see if that's the case. Yes, sure enough, we could do any of Rumble Racing that we wanted. And we can... Yep, we can do any of these as well. Cool! So that is something that I will do off screen, but I will not be doing it right now. Instead, we gotta head to the next world. I think if I do all of the, uh, all of the command board stuff now, it might be a little bit overpowered. But if you're struggling to use Aqua early on, def definitely take advantage of that. Especially the secret board, which has a lot of advanced commands that you can acquire right from the get-go. Anyways, so... In terms of combat level, Dwarf Woodlands is the one that you should do next, as it's combat level 2, whereas Enchanted Dominion is combat level 3. But here's the thing. Uh, the, I will actually be going to Enchanted Dominion first for two reasons. One, timeline-wise, it makes a little bit more sense to hit Enchanted Dominion first. It doesn't really make a difference. It's not going to like create any plot holes if you go to Dwarf Woodlands first, but it just makes a little bit more sense. The other main reason that I want to do Dwarf Woodlands last is because... No other character has done Dwarf Woodlands last. You know, Terra went Enchanted Dominion, Dwarf Woodlands, Castle of Dreams. Ventus did Dwarf Woodlands, Castle of Dreams, Enchanted Dominion. So now, as Aqua, we're going to do Castle of Dreams, Enchanted Dominion, then Dwarf Woodlands. Just kind of keep up that. The order just changed the starting point. So anyways, without further ado, we're heading off to Enchanted Dominion. And this is going to be a tough one. Enchanted Dominion is pretty tough as Aqua, especially if you do it before Dwarf Woodlands. But it also means that we can, uh, get some advanced commands a little earlier. What's that? I think I better go take a look inside. So that was Ven releasing Aurora's heart at the end of his version of Enchanted Dominion. And here we go for the third time. So one nice thing about last time is we got those magnets <laughs> from the command board. That's really going to help us out. Get a high potion. I don't think we can head back to... Nope. So Aqua's basically just going to explore Maleficent's castle. Ventus got to explore the whole world. We do not. Oh, we also have a new slot open. Well, wonderful. I know exactly what we're equipping here. Ooh, we get arrow. I forgot that we got arrow. Ooh, wait. Okay. We're going to meld our two magnets together. And we're going to attach a Fleeting Crystal to get Magnaro with Magic Haste, because heck yes we are. And we're going to equip that right away. Right away. Because Magnara, well, you guys know how good Magnet Magic is at this point. <laughs> Especially for this world, Magnaro's going to be really, really good, because the goons are extremely dangerous if you're playing as Aqua. Like, they're gonna be a, not one- they won't be able to one-shot us, but they'll definitely be able to two-shot us. Beautiful, okay. Yeah, look at- look at the damage that we're dealing. And by that I mean the lack thereof. Look at that! Our, our finishers, uh, our combo finishers are doing decent damage. But our main hits in the combo, not so much. Hey, bros. How do you like Spell Weaver? Thank goodness the Spell Weaver overall finish is really good. Who is flying a military jet right outside my window? What the heck? I'm not that close to an airport. Military jets besides. Ooh boy, sleep! It's very fitting that we get sleep in the Sleeping Beauty world. Do 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 do. I don't think we can get up here just yet. Nope. Aqua can't jump high enough. Boy, ain't that a shame. Yeah. 
Magnera plus fun uh, Thunder. That's a good uh, combo. Oh, yeah, you, you guys are done! Spellweaver is a pretty bad command style outside of the finish. The finish is really good. Oh boy, a, cu <clears throat> a cure in a chest. It's always good to have a second cure. And we can't reach up there just yet, so we're heading inside the castle. There's no way Terra would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Ben, don't be fooled! Aqua! Terra would never do that. Aqua, you didn't even hear what Maleficent said he did. I, I never understood this. Like, it sounded like in Ven's story, Aqua had been listening the whole time. No, she only appeared for, like, the last sentence or two. She has no idea the context. She's just like, Ven, Tara wouldn't do that. It's like, did you hear what we said? Tara would never <laughs> leave a zero dollar tip at a restaurant. He, he's not that kind of guy. <laughs> you know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah. The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. The Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Sorry, Aqua, but I can't go with you. What? It's just, I have to find him before it's too late. Ven! I see you too wield a Keyblade. How do you know about the Keyblade? A source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Terra, he really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me as well? Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... It seems you need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. Uh oh. Maleficent showing that she's in charge again. She just threw us in the dungeon. Oh, hey, bro. Who are you? My name is Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes, Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you! Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers, which you alone will have to face. I'm going with you. There's something I need to know, and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. Now come along. We must hurry to Aurora. Well, here we go. We're just chilling with Prince Philip, one of the best Disney princes in the dungeon. And man, it sure was nice of Maleficent to leave a map of her castle inside the dungeon for us to use. That's very nice. Alright, we got a hundred bucks. We gotta use it wisely. I know, I'll buy a couple of ethers. Nope, that's not happening. Uh, can we seriously still not buy fire? What the heck? I'm actually gonna buy a sliding dash. 
Not for the combat purposes, but just, you know, Sliding Dash can be used to sequence break a bunch of stuff. And Aqua Story is no exception. Oh shoot, Maleficent forgot to lock the door. <laughs> Prince Philip was just chilling in the dungeon like, wait, the door was unlocked? <laughs> and then Maleficent's like, oh, curse, it's, I didn't lock the door. I know it's probably because Aqua has a keyblade <laughs> and that can open the lock or the fairies broke us out, but whatever. <laughs> hey, dude. Let's get out of here. Oh boy, more magic increase. We don't need a strength increase or anything. Nope, just magic. I mean, I know Aqua is the mage, so it makes sense. Oh, get wrecked. That guy did. Wow! Yeah, we're so weak. Our normal attacks do almost no damage, which is why you really, really want to use magic commands rather than attack commands as Aqua. It's Diablo! What are you doing here, you bird? Uh-oh! It's an ambush! It's a good thing we have Magnera. Take out Maleficent's goons! With pleasure. <laughs> I love how Magnera just sends us into Spellweaver as well. I know I, I make fun of Spellweaver, but it's still useful in the early game because, well, our combos are going to be weak no matter what we do. That's not good. And yep, that's how dangerous the goons can be. They can very easily two-shot you. I know he technically dealt three hits to us, but two of those hits were together in a combo that we could not have avoided if we got hit by the first one. So, yeah. Prince Philip is here to help us. He's cool. Oh, good. All of our blizzards are leveling up. This is fantastic. Oh, thanks, Philip. Darn it, we were too far away from everybody. There you go. Philip. So Philip's got that one. Never mind. No, he did. Philip, he had one HP left. Come on. Oh, I think Philip couldn't have finished him. I think Aqua needs to get the last hit. But there we go. Magnera makes that fight much, much less difficult. I am so glad that I played the board game before doing this. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Our blizzards have leveled up, so we're gonna start melding those together. To get Blizzara, we'll attach a Shimmering Crystal to get a, our first blizzard boost. We'll meld the second one together with a Fleeting Crystal so we can get our second magic paste. There we go. Cure is also a decent level, so we can equip a different cure now. Sleep can be useful against the, uh, the goons, so we'll equip that. Arrows level 2, that's fine. I guess Barrier Surge? I mean, it's not great, but it's my best offensive command left, I think. Alright, I can't remember which way we came from. Because one of these ways leads to the bottom of the dungeon, and the other way leads to the top. Excuse me, it's very rude. One Blizzara? And they did. It's the power of Aqua Blizzara. No, 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 I don't want to fall back down. Shoot, that leads back to the actual dungeon. Ah, I'll fight some goons along the way. Get some extra EXP. And some extra money. Okay, let's try this again. We go back up to the top. 
I like how this room in Aqua's story, you don't have the teleporter maze. Just lets you walk right through it. Maleficent, in a strategic uh, decision, decided to remove the teleporter maze. It was like, no, that's fine. Yes, our physical strength increased. I feel so much stronger now. Beautiful. Okay. Come on! Ugh. Darn it, we need a sliding dash. This is why I bought it, because sliding dash gives us a bit more distance than barrier surge does. Barrier Surge is also nowhere near as good as Thunder Surge, or even Fire Surge. Fire Surge is solid, it's just not as good as Thunder Surge. But hey, we can't all be Thunder Surge, hey bros. Yeah, look at how much more distance that gives us. And here we get Ice Barrage. That is an advanced command that we're not supposed to get right away. <laughs> Happy to see that. I think it's a two-slot command, so it's going to take... Oh, they're trying to hit me with the arrows. Um. Okay, Um. it just wouldn't let me use Sliding Dash, even though it was not on cooldown. Okay. So let's see, Ice Barrage, yeah, Ca cause giant ice crystals to burst from the ground and knock enemies into the air. Uses two slots. Yeah, let's equip it. <laughs> we don't need uh, Sliding Dash anymore for this world, and Sleep's not really going to be useful against the bosses. And I'd much rather have an attack-based command than a utility-based command in this situation. How did that guy not get hit by Ivor Blizzara? The archer was caught very off guard. He's like, ah! Didn't see that coming. Okay, there's gonna be goons over here. Ah! That was almost death. But Ice Barrage is powerful. And we get our high potion. Oh my gosh, could we have literally just gone through this way as well? The answer is yes, we could have. But that's okay. So I don't think there are any chests in the main part of this room. Ventus took them all. Top off our HP. <laughs> Head into the dungeon maybe later. I forgot you can actually take a shortcut into the dungeon from here. Are there any treasure chests lying out? Did Maleficent leave any prizes for us? There might be one over by her throne. Oh ho! Yes, there is. Confusion Strike. Cool. Terrible command for Aqua, but that's fine. Here we go. Team up of Prince Philip. Open the gates and escape. Oh no, they're going to throw rocks at us. That's not a very nice thing to do. Dang, Prince Philip's got a great shield. It sure was nice of Maleficent to let him keep his shield in prison. The archers here are hugely problematic. As are pretty much all of the goons, actually. But Ice Barrage makes quick work of them. Nope, that's bad. No, oh, that's bad. Ugh. Not having a reliable way to cure is... I mean, I have cure, but it's only of one. Oh, 
Okay. We have to kill all the ground the guards on the ground. Oh great, Prince Philip died. Expelliarmus! Okay, here we go. The guards are dead, so now Prince Philip will let us do this team command. Where we team up and use selfless prince to destroy just a portion of the terrain, which is really cool. Lazaras are doing their due diligence for sure. Uh oh. Okay. Gotta be very careful because the archers can still pick us off. I would love to be able to Blizzara both of them, but. Nope. Wellspring Crystal, how nice. We can hit that switch and open up the gates. Thanks, Prince Philip. Sorry for making you wait. Let's keep going. Boom! I'm so glad. This is why it is worth getting using Sliding Dash. Because Ice Barrage is just incredible against these guys. All right, level six. It's good. I seriously cannot emphasize enough how dangerous these goons are on critical mode. Like they will kill you really easily if you are if you let your guard down. Messed with the wrong aqua. Oops. <laughs> sorry, Philip. I'm sorry. I just I had a lot of pent up aggression. Oh no, they're back. Double prizes. Okay. Now we will do selfless prints. Boom. Man, Aqua can just destroy parts of the castle with the help of the prince. Even Terra couldn't do that, and Terra's supposed to be the one who's all about physical strength. Like I said, Aqua's the best. And we get Absolute Zero as a shot lock. That's a great shot lock. And we get Pulsing Crystal. The prince Philip's like, okay, are you done looting the palace? Can we please leave? Sorry, Prince Philip. Um... Apparently the magnet hit the switch and I just instantly was allowed to leave. Okay, I'll take it. And we get high jump. Aqua gets to jump high earlier than everybody else. Well, yes, I think I will equip that right away. Actually, is our cure... Oh, uh, uh, well, I guess we don't get to find out. No, we've never dealing Terra yet. I mean, we did as Ventus, but not as Aqua. It's probably a dumb idea. Terra's all about physical attacks, and Aqua stinks at that. And these guys have a lot of HP. Well, that was a mistake! <laughs> Doggone it, Terra, you're the worst! It's not my fault you chose to D-Link me when you really shouldn't have. <laughs> it's true. That was on us, not Terra. Oh, wait. Is Bubble Blaster max level now? No, it's not. Gotta keep using it. Even with a blizzard boost, though, this really isn't doing much damage. Freeze. 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 Blizzara and Ice Barrage is just way better. Bluffson's like, wait, don't let her leave! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wrecked. 
Spellweaver is one of those command styles where, like, at the beginning of the game, you can basically use any magic spell and you'll go into the Spellweaver command style, but then once we get things like Firestorm, Diamond Dust, Thunderbolt, using those will take us to the different command styles, and then you basically have to use neutral magic like Zero Gravity or Magnet to enter the Spellweaver. But at the beginning, you'll be seeing it kind of a lot. Alright, we already grabbed that chest. Here we go. We actually do get to explore the forest a little bit. And I think this is where it'll be a good time to actually start delinking Terra. We could also delink Cinderella. Which might actually be a better idea, but nah. Look at, look at the low damage we're dealing. Honestly, the Terra delink is pretty bad for Aqua. Seriously, this is such pitiful damage. That was the dopiest finisher. Excluding the Snow White finisher, obviously. Oh my gosh, a dealing flower. We get overdrive! Well, we are low on HP. So, we are dealing a good bit more damage now. Still not an ideal choice for dealing, though. A balloon letter! It's like they knew I was dealing in something. I didn't even call Terra a someone. I'm like, oh, something. Magnera reached the level two! Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was, uh, It's time to end the D-Link then. Get out of here, you bad birds. A potion. Oh, hey, with Magnara, we can actually start getting some of the ice cream early. Okay, Aqua, you are aiming completely the wrong direction. Alright, we at least got some ice cream ingredients. We'll probably have to come back there later to get more, but it's the thought that counts. Hi, Potion. And a flower sticker. Hooray! Alright. Now let's head off to the unknown area. Which is just the bridge to the castle. Maleficent's like, are you serious? How did how did they escape the dungeon? Maleficent, you didn't lock the door. <laughs> Doggone it. The forest of thorns shall be your tomb. Wound round the castle in a bower of doom. Better get the weed whacker. Dang, that's pretty cool. Maleficent's a great villain. Maleficent, what did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. Nor can you see how easy it was for him. Terra would never do anything to help you. Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! <sighs> Oh yeah, it's the beginning of the game, and we gotta fight one of the final bosses of Kingdom Hearts 1 already, Dragon Maleficent. Let's go. 
team up with Prince Philip and defeat Maleficent. Well, thankfully, Dragon Maleficent's a lot easier in this than she was in Kingdom Hearts 1, and we got the Prince on our side, so... Just make sure that, you know, guard against her. I also recommend staying to the side. Okay, I wasn't in the... I wasn't on the ground, but her ground shockwave still killed me. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Also, D-Linking doesn't work in this fight because Prince Philip is here. Remember, if you have any party members with you, for some dumb reason, the game is like, no, you don't get the D-Link. Okay. So much for casting that in the air. Don't be ridiculous. You can't cast Ice Barrage while you're in the air. Okay. I might need to rethink my strategy for this fight. <laughs> I definitely remember this fight being a toughie. Oh wait, I should be shot locking as well. Oh, well that's not a good place to be. I'm not sure if that's actually damaging her or not. Prince Philip is just shrugging off the flames like it's nothing. Okay, bro, you keep gym you keep gesturing me for to go over there, but you weren't doing a team attack. Stupid Prince Philip, he's like, get over here! We're gonna do something cool! And then we go over there and then he's just like, ha <laughs> and Maleficent torches me. Bruh, are you serious? Did she just one-shot me? I just casted Cure. Like, literally just casted Cure. Okay, that was a combo. That was like shockwave comboed into itself eight times. Like I said, this is why if you're playing casually, I recommend you go to Dwarf Woodlands first, but... Unfortunately, I've already tied myself here. We could dip out and just go to Dwarf Woodlands, but I'm in, I'm in it to win it now, so... Great. I don't want to be here. Great. So if Maleficent torches you with fire, you're just dead. Prince Philip keeps gesturing me for, to do the team-up attack, but there's no option to do the team-up attack. He's supposed to let you get on Maleficent's back. Admittedly, Magnera is probably not the best. That was literally a one-shot. Like, that was actually genuinely just one-hit kill. Wow. Yeah, this fight is definitely a toughie, because even if you do this world third, you still have to deal with, like, you're still going to be super weak.
Okay, I'm just gonna pelter with Lazarus from a distance, basically. <laughs> nope. I literally... Ugh, I hate Spellweaver. If you do one attack with Spellweaver, you can't do anything else for, like, five seconds. There's so... It, the attacks are so slow. Like, I was mashing the jump button and just... Nope. Aqua's twirling her little Keyblade around, so... Nope. Doesn't help that, like, you have to be next to her attacks in order to actually damage her. Okay. Let's go. Are you actually saying here? No, you're not! What a surprise! I'm just gonna ignore Prince Philip for this whole fight. He is literally trying to get me killed. He stands right in the way of her fire to be like, Here! Get over here! So you can immediately die. But it's said to team up with Prince Philip. Well, I will team up with Prince Philip if he teams up with me. But he's clearly not doing that. I can't team up with Aqua. That would be cheating on my true love. Oh, Prince Philip's dead. That's honestly probably for the best. And wow, he came back to life real fast. This is ridiculous. Like, this is actually ridiculous. And I can't even D-Link Ventus to, he to speed up the battle, because... For some reason, you can't Dimensional Link when other people are around. What?! Her fire should not one-shot you. Okay, remember when I said that this was an easier fight than it was in Kingdom Hearts 1? Yeah, apparently that's not true. Okay, let's get immediately away. anywhere around there there was literally no fire on screen that is just like and then there was fire to the side of her which she doesn't that doesn't even make physical sense okay i remember this fight being tough i don't remember this fight being like that and like right there the fire didn't one shot me And like right there! Her shockwave attack is hitting me when I'm way in the air. How is this even possible? I'd also love to be able to use the Spellweaver finisher. Of course I can't because it's impossible to hit her with freaking Spellweaver. Okay, that Shockwave has an enormous... It, it extends in the air! It's a ground Shockwave. Like, that's not how Shockwaves work. I have to be just super paranoid of Dragon Ball Fsin's hitboxes. Like, what the heck? Fire just spawned instantaneously. Like, what am I supposed to do against that? There was no fire. One frame later, there is fire on top of me when I'm not even in front of her. And it insta-kills, even if you're at full HP. This is 
there's no there's nowhere safe from the fire. And it can just appear in one frame. What the heck? Okay, I seriously do not remember this fight being anywhere close to this difficult. So either I'm just getting phenomenally unlucky. Or maybe I'm like woefully under muddled. Okay, I'm... I literally got hit by nothing there. I'm gonna hit my left side in the butt. I don't even know if this does anything. But at this point, I gotta try something. Get here with the spell weaver. Okay, I think you actually can hit her in the butt. Yeah, that's it. Okay, you gotta hit her in the butt. Now Prince Philip actually will do his team up attack. Well, Ice Barrage doesn't work when you're on her back. Okay. Uh-oh. So you can't lock onto her butt, but you can still damage her. This is what I remember the fight being on. Okay. Yeah. Please keep staying in the air. This'll finish her. I think. Maybe she's out of reach of the shot lock. Nope, there you go! Okay, there we go. Max HP increased and we learned Firestorm. Okay, never mind. The key for that fight, you gotta hit her in the back. Then it becomes a lot easier. This has been your public service announcement for the day. Don't attack a dragon in its face. Attack it in its butt. Never mind, Prince Philip seems to be doing just fine. Ooh, by Maleficent. But wait, she appeared in Kingdom Hearts 1! How, how, how is that gonna happen? Wow, that, that happened magically. <laughs> Foreign's gone. Cloud's gone. Boom. Everything's happy now. Prince Philip still got that swagger? How the heck is Maleficent still alive after taking a sword to the chest? She's like, oh, that was a mild pain. The power of true love that defeated you. <laughs> In your face. be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. Oh hey, it's a dead girl. I'm gonna kiss her. Classic Disney prince move. She's not dead. She just passed out. <laughs> Maleficent looks like she's uh, in need of an appendectomy right now. She's just like, ugh, ugh, my ulcer. Ooh, should not have eaten that tuna melt for lunch. You want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. Then they will all belong to me! <laughs> sure, Maleficent. Tara, 
You better stay strong for me. Now if you excuse me, I need first aid. I seem to have taken a sword gash to the chest. And we get the Fairy Star's Keyblade. Provides balance boost and strength and magic. Yes. And the North's report number six. <laughs> Here, Aqua. I have sent you a letter <laughs> containing my sixth report. You don't need the first five. I don't have a headset. I didn't do anything. My controller just occasionally, Dad, you don't have a headset you can connect. Ah, where's the microphone? Ah. Yeah, PS4. What a thing. All right, let's go to our reports. We got Xehanort's report number six. There are three families of Keyblades. The Keyblades of Light we wield, Keyblades of Darkness, and Keyblades of Heart. The first and second families differ only in origin. Keyblades of Darkness are found in the Realm of Darkness, and are counterparts to the Keyblades we use in the Realm of Light. The third type of key, the Keyblade of Heart, came into existence when the world was reorganized after the Keyblade War. Without this key, Kingdom Hearts is forever beyond a person's reach. Only by gathering together seven hearts of pure light, hearts completely devoid of darkness, may one forge a Keyblade of Heart and open the door to Kingdom Hearts. And as stated before, opening this door arguably gives that person control over all worlds and all people. So, that dark Keyblade that Riku wielded in Kingdom Hearts 1, that was a Keyblade of Heart forged by... Well, not quite all seven of the Princes of Heart, but six of them. So that's interesting. Uh, did we get all the treasures? We did. Yeah, we did. Oh, but we gotta arrange our stickers, folks. Yay, fireworks! Yay, flowers! That was fun. <laughs> oh, I love that. Abilities, we have one blizzard boost and two magic hastes, and that's it. Aqua really needs to, uh... Man, and, we, and we've and we got these low-level D-Links, too. Aqua really needs to uh, start leveling some stuff up. Oh, hey! Our cure reached level three. Wait, did I not equip our second... Oh, no, we did! Oh, sweet! We can meld the two cures together. Because I want Cura. We can also meld the cure of the arrow to get Cura, but... I don't think so. Let's use a fleeting crystal. I want magic haste. How about thunder? Can we meld the thunder with anything? We can meld the thunder of the arrow to get Aurora. If I could get Thundera with that, then I would do it. But unfortunately, we don't live in such a world. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will be going to Mirage Arena off screen to beat the rumble racing games as well as the command board stuff to get uh, fans i'll let you guys know what pan what new panels i get as a result of playing that and then next time we can go off to dwarf woodlands and that's going to be a fun world hopefully a bit easier than the enchanted dominion so until we meet again my friends have a great day and god bless